Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. It is a beautiful sunny Saturday morning down here in my indoor growing space and I would like to just take you on a tour to show you how my cracky hydroponic plants are doing. I'm starting to see a lot of progress and growth happening with my plants. I also want to take you to my grow tent where uh, things are not going quite as well. Um, I'm having a few issues with my cucumbers. Uh, leaves are turning yellow. Being this is my first year uh, using a grow tent, I'm kind of learning as I go and trying to figure out different things that I need to do to keep the plants healthy inside the grow tent. It's uh, definitely a different process than just simply growing on the shelf here with lights. So let's get started. I'll take you on a little tour and let you see what's going on. So I have raised up the lights here so we can have a good look at what I have growing here as far as my Kraki hydroponics. I have my five different peppers coming here. They're all looking pretty good. Getting lots of leaves growing. Just check out the roots here. This is the candy cane sweet pepper. So some good roots going there. I think this one here, the Sun Bright, was one of my slower growing peppers, but I see now it's got some roots reaching the nutrients now, so it's going to take off. This is a basil that I cut from uh, my basil plant outdoors this fall and set it up in the crack key. And I've been harvesting the odd leaf off of it already. And there's my lettuce, and I'm very excited because it's going to be time to uh, harvest a bit and make a salad pretty soon. The fastest growing is the romaine here and this is called salad bowl which is just a leafy lettuce. My arugula and spinach coming along good. So I'm pretty excited to uh, have my first homegrown salad and I can take some cuttings from these green onions that I have going to add to the salad as well. I have a fan set up here so that it is blowing on my Tiny Tim Aero Garden tomatoes. They have lots of blooms on them now. So every evening I come and turn on this osculating fan to try and help with pollination. And hopefully in another week or so we will start to see some little tomatoes forming. So it's time to check out what's going on in my grow tent. I've got Two tomatoes, two cucumbers, and a strawberry plant going here right now. So I'm very excited to show you my strawberry plant here, which has one tiny little red strawberry on it. So there's not a whole lot of strawberry here to share with anybody, but I'm still very excited that I successfully grew a strawberry indoors. And there's more blooms coming here. So it's something I might try to expand on and get more plants going in the future using this cracky method and maybe um, increase my strawberry harvest so that I can actually have some to share with my family. My Russian Saskatchewan tomato is doing really good and you can see here, you can see here that we have some uh, flowers coming pretty soon. So this has been just growing in the crack key with some really strong roots going. This other tomato here is called a Scotia tomato. It was a lot, uh, it's been a lot slower to grow obviously and I have it set up also. Um, I've added an air stone to the water just to see if it increases or speeds up the growth. I haven't seen any um, really noticeable uh, faster growth in this plant and here are my two cucumber plants that are starting to really um, shoot out some vines and tendrils and wanting to do some climbing but I'm pretty concerned about the yellowing the leaves and from what I have researched on this it means that they are possibly lacking nitrogen so I'm going to mix up a new solution of nutrients with a higher uh, nitrogen content to them and switch out the water 
and see if that makes a difference because I really don't want them to uh, die out now because they have been doing really good up until this point. So I'm just taking a little closer look here at my cucumbers. You can see the leaves on here are just massive. This is the Diva Cucumber. It has only female flowers, so you don't need to worry about pollination. And when I was having a little peek in here, I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like we have our first little cucumber coming here. So that is very exciting. So something I just realized that could be part of my problem here with my plants is the fact that I did not have my light set at um, a high level of illumination because when I set it up I had to turn down really low so that it wasn't too bright for me and just realized that I had never turned it up. So a real rookie mistake here being a first time grow tent user. So I have turned up the uh, illumination of the light. We'll see if that helps out with my cucumbers. So I'm going to use my three-part formula Holland Secret blend here for my cucumbers. I'm going to follow the late vegetative stage um, as far as my application amounts, which is going to give me a little higher nitrogen level, I think. <laughs> So we'll see how this uh, works out for the cukes. So it's not very easy to do your filming inside a grow tent here, but I think I have it kind of set up so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to dump out the water that is um, inside these containers and try to replenish. Uh, it's a little tricky because these cucumbers have attached themselves to this trellis that I put up. So we'll see how this goes. I will just remove the lid. You can see it's got some really nice healthy roots. These are like the air roots that kind of shoot out. Um, there's about a half a container left here of nutrients. Just going to dump them out. And replenish. So I'm only going to fill this about halfway full, I think, so that uh, there is a good amount of air still. For the roots, even though this one does have an air stone, kind of pumping air into the water. I'm really hopeful that this little cucumber here is going to continue to grow. Be my first cucumber. I see I have another one coming here. And oh, another one coming here. That's very exciting. So I really hope I can save this. Because I see these leaves are not looking very good. So again, we'll try to remove the top here without disturbing too much. The roots smell so good, you have to just stop and take a whiff of them. Fresh cucumber smell. Okay, so hopefully I didn't disturb the plant too much there. Lost a few of our clay balls, no big deal. We will have to just keep an eye on it. So hopefully with me figuring out that I didn't have my lights turned up very high, 
uh, refreshing these nutrients with a little more nitrogen in it. Um, hopefully we will see some improvement in this plant and get some cucumbers. So we've got everything back in place here in the grow tent and we will just keep an eye on these cucumbers to see if we can uh, keep them going and uh, producing some cucumbers in the next few weeks. So please stay tuned for upcoming videos. Maybe we'll have some more strawberries, uh, some baby tomatoes coming soon. So and if you haven't already started growing indoors and are wanting to learn how, please check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of how-to videos on different vegetables that you can try growing indoors. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.